So today I'm going to do a Dia de los Muertos look and it's going to be kind of a sugar skull look. Kind of that like very pretty look with makeup and stuff. So I hope you guys like it. I also have a little surprise at the end so stay tuned. So first I'm just going to do the basic lines just so I don't have to keep on stopping and talking. So you guys can see that I'm going to do around my eyes, the web in the middle and the cheekbones and stuff like that, so just keep on watching. Okay, so now that I have the basic shapes, I'm going to go in and clean it up and I'll be back. So to clean it up, I'm using this pointed eyebrow brush that can also be used for concealer. And my beautiful NARS concealer. This is like the best for filling in your brows or doing anything for Halloween if you need to touch it up. So I'm just going to take that and go around all the lines that need to be thinner and kind of thin them out with this concealer. To give this depth, I'm going to go in with my Naked 3 palette and I'm going to go over the lines. I'm going to go over the lines that I've already made with some of the pink and the darker kind of mauve look. And I'm going to go over the lines that I already did and then after that, I'm going to take a more opaque thin pencil and I'm going to drag that up and make sure that my lines are super crisp with like kind of like a with like a shadow underneath. So yeah. Okay, so now that I've shaded in all of the lines with some eyeshadow, I will fill it in with, well, I'm going to do these thin lines with my NYX white eyeliner. And I'm just going to use this kind of as like a paintbrush and I'm going to go over the lines and make them super opaque. Now that I have that all outlined, I'm going to do the little tiny flowers around the edges. You never thought a girl could feel like this. Well, I never thought that I could feel like this. Now it's plain to see. So I did so I did this eye by doing just little circles just around my eye and I'm going to take a little bit more of my eyeshadow and just do around the tops just to give it some more depth. The words never be the same, the same. So now that I have that shaded in I'm just going to put some little dots just to make it look kind of like lace and I think I might shade around those too. Okay, so now that I have this whole side of my face done, I am going to do my lips and I'm just going to draw a line kind of starting right here, going across and then do the little teeth and shade in the insides. Okay, so just to let you guys know, that tickles so bad. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do this. It tickles so much. Oh god. Okay. I can't do it. It tickles so bad. Oh my god, guys. Um, mm -mm. It tickles so bad. Yeah, baby. You're enchanting me with everything you do. You do. So 
for this first little part, I just did these tiny little dots. I used this thick jumbo pencil and I basically just put it down and then wiggled it like that and made these dots. And so from that, I'm going to take my thin brush from X and I'm going to make little stripes and kind of feather it out more so that it looks more like teeth. So now that I have my teeth filled in, I'm going to go in and do the bottom webs and then I'm going to do some little curly designs on the sides and we're almost done. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have that finished, I am pretty much done. I'm just going to go put on my lashes and I'll be right back. So this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. Honestly, this was way harder than I thought it would be because I've been doing these Day of the Dead looks forever since I've always gone to like Day of the Dead festivals and stuff, but this one was really hard, mostly because I was working with like makeup. <laughs> Usually I'm working with like craft paint or something where I can like have a lot more control with like a thinner brush and stuff, but working on a budget, you could get that for like a few bucks, so you can get all of this for under probably like 20 bucks so I think it's actually pretty good for that and I have my lashes on now I put in a little bit more shading in the eyes and I think I like how it turned out so I wanted to open up a present that a close family friend actually a group of family friends got me thank you so much L, Debbie and Martine they got me the cutest little thing of chocolates and it totally matches the video that I was going to do. So these are so cute. It's from Harry and David's. As you can see right here. And this is just so adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are so cute and it couldn't have been any better timing. Like these are perfect. So as you can see. They are little sugar skull cookies and they are so cute. There's graham cracker in the middle and they're decorated so cute. So thank you so much. I love it and they're yummy. I don't know if you can tell but I already ate like half of them. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good day. Oh, I'm so excited. You're me with everything you do.